Hey, what is up, I'm Alette. It's me, I'm a Jane woman. Ah, let me just slow down. What is up, I'm a Jane's. I'm <laughs> Jane's. Let me, let me just cut it. What is up, I'm Alette. It's me, I'm a Jane woman. I'm a Jane TV. And we are here to do Lehigh, finally. So, for those who don't know, Lehigh is actually signed with AOMG, AOMG as well. She finally left last year, finally abandoned that dark hole that she was in for so many years called YG Entertainment, one of the big fours. However, she was always been in the dark for so long until she her her contract was over and she was like, yeah, victory. And she decided not to sign with them again because they were wasting her talent. And she was, or she is one of the most talented girls in K-pop. And she's a solo. And so Lehigh, decided to sign with J-Pog's label, AOMG. <laughs> I can't wait. So she came up with a song called Holo and I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm so excited. I'm so, <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. What languages? Oh, they got all, they got Arab, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, Estonian, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Mongolian, Persian, Iran, Portuguese, Brazil, Russian, Spanish, Spanish, Latino. <gasps> they have all, uh, nearly all of them. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually want to fart right now. What well, don't want to right now. Okay, let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just fix the screen and we're going to react to Lehigh Polo, oh my god, in 3, 2, 1, go, go. This is going to be a ballad because, oh, I think it's going to be a ballad song. 3, 2, oh my god, that looks so high. The feather, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh no, the shoe drop. So pretty. school cartoon. Look at that look, there's a little child there. So is she representing as an guardian angel? Her voice is just absolutely rich and gorgeous. Oh 
my god. I feel a bit intense for a second. I know I'm quiet because I'm trying to focus. It seems like when it comes to Lehi, she focuses on the story or what she sings. Her makeup looks, looks so pretty. It's so simple but absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's her. So the little girl is actually her. The little girl is her. Oh, interesting. Breathtaking. That is absolutely breathtaking. Oh, is there more? Oh, there's a feather representing the angel. So it represents her childhood, but also she represents as a guardian angel at the same time. So it's very interesting. I have so many questions. I don't know what people think because I think they will think the same way as I do. But it, the little girl represents Lehi as a child, and the and she as an adult represents the, the guardian angel. Okay, so there's a lot of, I, just, I think this is a therapy song, this is a therapy song. So, a lot of things have said, uh, this person says, I've always been drawn to Lehi as an artiste, although, even though YG barely let her release stuff. So excited to see her finally bloom full foss. I think YG... Yeah, YG didn't barely did actually cared about her to be honest. So I'm glad that someone understood what I thought as well of YG because YG, oh Jesus, YG just barely just cared about that girl <laughs> because they they she's so talented and they just wasted her talent just keeping her in the dark for so long. Um. And there was a lot of therapies here because people have been commenting about what they think of the song of being comfortable. Is the song is actually comforting? I think the song is a very powerful song for those who are going through so much a lot of stress, anger, especially for this time, especially at these times that we're going through. I think this is a perfect song for everyone to listen to because people these days, especially before even before um the beginning of the year we've been going through a lot we we have um we've gone through a lot okay it's a lot australia went through a, a rough patch in the beginning of the year with the fire and so many animals passed away killing a lot of a lot of kangaroos and the koalas and a lot of the nature got burnt down. Uh, then the pandemic happened. So many people passed out, passing out, dying left and right. And also, uh, what's it called again? This, the whole um, George Floyd. It was so many anger, so many. And I see when I mean angry, so many people that were aggressive, that were against what people were doing, protesting peacefully, with trying to find, trying to fight a positive manner and trying to fight in a positive way instead of being violent like most people were doing at this year as well that they were throwing bottles of stealing stuff they were putting police cars in, in flames everything even the trash cans they were putting they were putting fire and just burning them it's just like why? 
and apparently they were getting paid to do that it's just childish i just don't understand why would people accept money from a stranger just to just to do horrible things like that so this song is perfect and i give this 10 out of 10 because this is a therapy song for so many people right now people are going through so much depression people are going through so much stress people are going through so much sadness because of what's going on at the moment and I think this is a perfect song to listen to. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't know about the Christian people, because obviously Christian people, we're, they're not allowed to listen to secular music, unless they want to see it in the song in a positive light, then always bad, bad, bad. I think we always have to find a way to say, okay, this is a positive message. This is something to lift someone, not to bring someone down. So this, I give it a 10 out of 10 for that reason. So with that being said, I love you all and you and everyone and sit here.